We should take a moment or two before we begin the second lesson to review the, at least m the main theme and perhaps the uh, sub-theme of the first lesson. The main theme being, of course, that the young lady has to get her pelvis a little bit forward and upward so that she can walk a little bit easier. And the second theme, which seemed sort of sub-theme, if you will, was when Dr. Feldenkrais started when she was standing up, taking her head to one side and her pelvis to the other side. He eventually brought her over to the table, and if you recall, she was walking along the table to the side so that she would learn how to use her legs a little bit better so as to be able to bring weight more fully onto one leg and weight more fully onto the other. In the previous theme, in the main one, he has her, of course, learning to stand equally on both legs. The legs are wide apart. He has her hand between her legs. She bends down a little bit. She brings her pelvis forward and upward. And by this way, she learns to use the means to go from sitting to standing, which is that the pelvis just comes off of the table and comes onto the table. See here, it's easy here, it is slow. Can you feel that stiff? Here it is less. You can see almost immediately that there is clarity in movement from the left leg all the way up to the right shoulder. But then when he starts to pull on her right leg, the movement doesn't really transfer through her torso in the direction of the left shoulder. So, and we can see this also in her walking. In her walking, the diagonal movement, if you will, that we have in contralateral movement is relatively clear between her left leg and her right shoulder. But something is clearly not working correctly between her right leg and her left shoulder. At this point in the series, Dr. Feldenkrais doesn't know the entire history of the child, which we will find out in subsequent lessons, but she has had an operation on the right hip joint, and we'll go into that more in the next lesson, but at the moment, he is unaware of that fact. And I feel why like this is easy when I do now. Can you see that? Move here, here, here. When I move here, it does move to let's move this way too. Look. Can you feel that? Look, here. When I do that, it doesn't press on my finger when I touch here. But when I do here, look. Presses on the finger. Look, 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 look. Here, look. Ah. While you feel that difference, it will begin to work here too. That's right, now slowly. And once again, the uh, femur, this, uh, uh, the head of the femur, the head of the large bone of the upper leg, deeply into the cup, into the acetabulum, into that round cup-like uh, opening in the pelvis, wherein the leg has to go deeply in order to really stand upright. And you'll see that he does it in many different configurations. 
And it looks like that he's actually straightening the leg. But he is, and he is certainly straightening the leg. But it's not so much that it's the leg is being straightened by it being pushed down towards the table, but rather it's straight being straightened because the femoral head is going deep into the pelvis. That's taking the pelvis a little bit forward and upward slightly in her relationship, forward towards the ceiling in this case, and it's that which is allowing the leg. is now. I will lift you like that. Slowly. Don't don't sit. I will make you sit. All right? That's it. That's it. That's it. No, you cannot go any further because, you see, that's it. That, uh, it is a little bit round now again, too. Can you feel that? Now, to make that not, that's better. Now, look, now you're tall. The crashes to go to your mother, take them. But you can see you can use you can walk without the crutches quite nicely. Take them a little bit. That's right, you worked so hard and tired. That's right. Slowly. Hey, perfect. Now you're getting straight, you're tall. Don't hurry. Because you we worked hard and you may be tired actually. When you rest it, you will be much better. So that you can, that's right, be the crutches easy, practically just touch the floor to be sure that you can't fall, that you don't need the crutches. Very, very good. But don't think you have worked so hard that it, you will feel that when you rest it a little bit, it will be even better. Look, your left crutch is actually useless. Can you feel it? Slowly. Goodbye, nice. 